In the first part we have talked about basic topics related to Ethernet configuration. But today we will talk about something more advanced. We will start with something which is called DHCP. It sounds a little bit complicated and stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. But what it really does, it automatically assigns IP addresses to a computer, to your mobile phone or any other device which is connected to your network. So typically you have some Wi-Fi router in your network, which is a device which runs this DHCP. So for example, when a new computer comes to the network, the Wi-Fi router assigns an IP address to this computer. Or when you connect a laptop via Wi-Fi to your network, also this Wi-Fi router assigns automatically the IP address. So this is the example of the IP addresses. Usually the DHCP has a range where it works. So for example, in this case, it automatically assigns IP addresses from 192.168.101 till I don't know how many. So it will assign address, the first address 101 to computer, 102 for example to the laptop and our device uh, Reactivo 2 can be also used via DHCP. So for example if you would use uh, two Reactivo devices in your, in your network they would uh, obtain automatic IP address from the Wi-Fi router. And how it works? So you have the Wi-Fi router here. For example, these are the dev devices which are already connected to your network. And you come with your iPhone or Android or whatever. And it will connect to the Wi-Fi of the, of the router. And uh, the Wi-Fi router assigns, for example, the next IP address to the iPhone. So the iPhone will now uh, have uh, the IP address 192.168.1.105. Well, it might be quite interesting for you to try to find out the IP address of your iPhone, which is uh, usually assigned by DHCP. So you go to settings and as you can see, I'm connected to our uh, company network, but here in the I, you can see the details of the network. And when you scroll down, here you can see the IP address which is assigned to my iPhone. It's quite interesting. The question you might want to ask is uh, how do I know the actual IP address of the Reactivo device when it's assigned via DHCP? And I'm glad you are asking. We actually talked about it last time and you can use our software LED Strip Studio to find your devices. So you can go to mapping and here, for example, Reactivo is a ArtNet device. So you can use search for ArtNet device at the bottom. So we will click it and after a moment, we will find out that the Reactivo IP address is 65, this one. And we can go to web configuration of the device, of course, 65. Yeah, and I'm here. It's quite easy. There is a nice tool in Windows which allows you to quickly find out the settings of all of your adapters in your uh, computer. And it's called ipconfig and you can use it via command line. As you already know, we can go to start menu and type in cmd to show the command prompt window. And here we can type in ip config the command and it will give us the list of all the adapters which are connected uh, to your computer. In my case, I have here the Ethernet adapter, which is the standard uh, network wired. And then I have wireless LAN adapter. And as you can see, the wired connector, wired uh, adapter has IP address 0.22. And uh, the Wi-Fi adapter has 0 0.178. What you can do, you can also use IP command uh, with more detailed list. So you can use IP so on, uh, with the switch all. And here you can see even more detailed list of uh, the properties of every adapter. And what's uh, interesting, for example, with the wireless adapter I have, 
I know this uh, IP address 178 is assigned via DHCP. So my Wi-Fi router has assigned this IP address to my Wi-Fi adapter. So this is how you can find out all the settings for your Ethernet. The question we often get to ask if we can use the LEC free controllers on a different IP range than the standard one which we use usually, which is 192.168.1. And the, question, and the answer is of course yes, you can use the controller basically on any IP address range you want. So for example, I will show you an example how to use the controller on address starting with 10, 0, 0 point something. First of all, we need to change the settings of the device. So I will go to main settings, scroll down a bit, and now we can change the IP address to 0.64. We will use save settings and of course, as you can see, I cannot already access this uh, IP address. It's because it's different range. But let's uh, use the, let's change the Ethernet configuration of the computer. So we will go to network and internet settings, advanced network and more adapter options. And uh, you already know that the wire network is Ethernet and we choose properties and change the IP address to 10, 0, 0, and we can change it to, I don't know, 2. Press OK. You can check actually details. And as you can see, the IP address is already set. Or I could use the IP config command. And now we should be able to access the device settings. And yes, as you can see, I'm already running on address 10.0.0 and 64. In case you have changed the IP address to a different uh, IP range segment than the one which is uh, the default, which is 192.168.1, you won't be able to access the device. In this case, you have to reset the device to the default IP address. And how to do it? As you can see, I'm not able to access the default IP address, so I have to reset the device. To perform the reset of the device, first you need to turn it off. Now hold the up button and turn it on again. As you can see, the LEDs are flickering, so hold it. And when they stop, that's it. The device is reset to the default IP, which is 192.168.1.147. And now we should be able to access the device. So we just refresh the web page and here we are. Device settings. And you can check the IP. Yes, it's 147 by default. And that's it. That's how you reset the device for LEC free. To perform the reset of the reactivo device, as you can see here is a reset button and you have to use some pen and press it there. And that's it. This is how you reset the Reactivo 2 device. Sometimes the client need to use two IP addresses for one computer. The reason is that they use uh, IP address range, let's say 192.168.1 for internet, uh, which is assigned from, from, from the router. And then they want to use IP address range 10.0.0 to control LEC3. And yes, it's possible. Well, this is a little bit more complicated, but hopefully we will manage. So again, we need to check the IP address settings via IP config. And as you can see, my Ethernet adapter is using IPv address 4 and uh, it's assigned uh, the, over DHCP address 173. That's fine. And now the question is how to assign the second IP address to this Ethernet. You can go to settings again, network settings. This we know already. Again, we go to Ethernet, choose properties and let's set the IP address. Now, to keep the internet working, we need to copy the default IP uh, from the one which is already assigned from the DHCP. So I will display all the settings of the adapter 
and as you can see this is the IP address so we can copy it although it would be better to assign this IP address outside of the HCP range but for this example it's okay 168.1.1 173 but if you want to keep the internet working you need to copy also the gateway settings point one and uh, I also recommend to copy DNS settings so 192 168 point one point twenty in our case and eight 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 okay so this is the IP address we can actually try it uh, to try it it's uh, easy we can just check Google yes it's working so the internet is working that's fine and but now let's try to add the second IP address to the adapter and you can do it here in advanced menu as you can see one IP address is here and here it's a button called add and what we can do we can assign the second IP address to the adapter I will type in the same mask I have in my controller now press OK yes we can still check if the internet is working yes it's working fine this is, should be your home page but yes you can search for it okay and now we can try it if the device settings will actually display yes it's working fine so now when we try to uh, use ipconfig again you can see that we are using ipv address point 0.2 as well but also 192.168.1 so that's how you assign two ip addresses to one network adapter so those were a little bit more advanced topics related to internet configuration but i think it's e quite easy to handle once you try it out but if you will have any problem, just call us or arrange a Zoom meeting with us. So, see you.